Good morning, you guys. We are currently on day 32 of quarantine. So I thought it would be kind of fun to show you what I am eating right now. Before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification. I post new videos every week and you want to make sure that you don't miss out. All right, let's go into the kitchen and get started. Good morning, Layla. Are you helping me in the kitchen? I am starting the morning off with a lazy celery juice. I'm going to put the celery in my Vitamix, blend it with a little bit of water, and then I will strain it. And you guys, it's a pretty small glass today because we are still in quarantine and I am making sure that I am rationing. All right, it is breakfast time and I am making a smoothie bowl with wild blueberries and bananas. This would be so much better if the bananas were frozen, but I kind of forgot. I'm gonna add some protein powder, some coconut water, and blend it all up. And then I'm gonna pour it into a bowl and add some toppings. You can truly add any toppings of your choice. I added some strawberries, some hemp seeds, some granola and some coconut. So delicious. Eva, do you want to go for a walk? All right, time for a quick snack. I'm going to have a Go Raw bar and a tangerine, and then I'm going to film a quick workout. So I've been filming just some quick home workouts since nobody can go to the gym right now, and today I'm going to do an arm and ab video, and it looks like I may have some help. Okay, it's lunchtime and this sandwich is amazing. So you need some gluten-free bread, some veggies, some sauerkraut, and some BioLife cheese. This will be the only thing that's not completely healthy because it is processed, but it's better for you than dairy cheese without the saturated fat and cholesterol. So I'm going to chop up some veggies first. Then add a little bit of the BioLife to a piece of bread. Put the veggies on top. Add a little bit more cheese on top of the veggies. Stick it in the oven until the cheese melts. Add some mustard and there you have it. Maybe a bit messy, but it's so good. All right, it is dinner time and we are making stuffed spaghetti squash. We're gonna cut it in half, take out all of the seeds and then place them face down, put them in the oven at 425 degrees for about 40 minutes. We'll make the stuffing, which is literally lentils and marinara sauce mixed. Then I'll chop some basil for garnish, and then I'm going to warm up some leftover cheese sauce. We love this sauce, and I'll make sure to post a link to the recipe video below. It's normally a little bit more orange, but we ran out of carrots. Once the squash is cooked, we're going to remove it from the oven, and then use a fork to make it like spaghetti. And then you'll add the lentil mixture, Put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes, pull it out, add the cheese sauce, add the basil, and enjoy. 